ir pukis për të mace Jef të gna patën si rëtës të mrecat Ma një gjama të kos të pasume në rëtjan peq Jef të ka gas jef ka nëstis pukis Shaman Khos Spasume Në rëtjën meq Je tu Ka gas Je ka nëstes Kukis Ka bojt Tratë mes Kur i es Kon të lem shajri
ասված, մենք երկրպակում ենք ես եմ մենք խոնարվում ենք ես տերի մասված, դու ես առաջին ու վերջինը, այլվան և ոմեկան, խնդրում ենք հորդություններ այս ռողարկ ես այս ծարայության վրա տերի մասված, Հիսուս Քրիստոսի զորավորանով, մենք այս ծարայությունով բարձացնում ասում ենք քո ձերկերի մեջ տերի մասված, որովհետև այսօր լցվենք քո զորությամբ եւ քո ավատքով տերի մասված, որովհետև այսօր եղբորս, որ բերի այն խոսքը, որի կարիքը մենք ունենք տերի մասված, Հիսուս Քրիստոսի անունով։ Ամեն։ Փարք Հիսուսի սիրներս։ Այս հրաշալի օրվա համար։ Ես եւ որ շահմեն շապատ մտնում եմ այս դահլիճ, մի բան սենց ցիրտս բարձանում է տեսնում եմ ինչ գործ էր վերջացելը եւ իհարկե այս նշանը ցույց է տալի որ եթե ամեն բան լավ գնա, ոչ մեկ գրիպով չի հիվանդանա։ Եվ ոչ մի բան չլինի, պետք է այս երկա թեղին արդեն չլինի եւ մեր արաստաղը պետք է պատրաս լինի, եթե ամեն ինչ լավ լինի։ Եվ այսպիսով ես մի տեղ ուզում եմ կարդամ ձեզ քան քամին որտեղ ուզում է փչում է եւ նրա ձայնը լսում ես բայց չգիտես թե որտեղից է գալիս եւ ուր որտեղ է գնում այսպես է ամեն հոգու ծնվածը իհարկե գիտեք եթե գիտական օրեն մտած են քամին կիմանանք որտեղա բայց որ եւ որ ականջիտ փչում այդ քամին դու սենց երկար չես նստում հետո քեզ ուրա ճանապարհորդվում ես քամին ուրա գնում այսպիսով մեր քամին այսին այստեղ գրվածա այսպես էլ հոգու ծնվածը իրականում հոգով է շարժում չգիտե չգիտես թե ուր կարող է գնա Հիսուս ասաց ինչ որ աստված ինձ ասես դա էլ ես արեցի այսօր մեր հոգևոր քամին մեզ ստանում է դեպի երիտասարդական կոնֆերանս հալելույա եւ գիտեք ինչ մենք չգիտենք ո՞նց են գնում ինչ են գնում գիտեք այս տալ առաջի անգամ ինչպես բագրատ ասաց որ իրականում մենք չենք ասում միշտ ասել են կոնֆերանսների ժամանակ եւ նամանան երիտասարդականի խնդրում ենք երկու օգուց ավել ռայոնի չբերեք հինգ օգուց ավել չբերեք ամեն որտեղ տեղ չունենք այստեղ շատ տեղ ենք ունենալու դրա համար բոլորը կարող են գան դալ նրա նոեմբերի 27-ից 30-ը եւ գիտեք այստեղ շատ ժողովներ են լինելու շատ կոնֆերանսներ են լինելու ամեն բան հրաշալի ձևի լինելու է այնպես որ մենք պատրաստ ենք տոնենք դեր բացում ենք անելու մի դիմաց հրաշալի նոր տարի է ամեն ինչ լավ է շրջույի կողքին հետ ասա այդքան վաճ չի կյանքը ես ուզում այս որ ներկայացնեմ մի հզոր անձնավորության որը իմ ընկերը սա 20 տարուց ավել Երևակայի ես այս որ մտածեցի որ ես ունեմ ամերիկացի ընկերներ բայց նա եղելա առաջի իմ ամերիկացի ընկերս որ 20 տարուց ավել մենք ընկերություն ենք արել բայց փարտի ռոչը մենք չենք ծանոթացել ինչ որ մի խաղատանը կամ ինչ որ մի տեղում մենք ծանոթացել ենք նրա այդ քարոզի ժամանակ պլատֆորմի վրա եկեղեցում ծառայություններ անցկացնելուց որովհետև երկուսը հավատքի մեջ են երկուսը իրականում սիրում են ասուն եւ գիտեք երկար տարիներ ես լսել եմ այս մարդուն եւ ամեն ժամանակ իշխան լսել եմ այնքան հավատքը զբարձացելա հավատքը զորացելա եւ ես օրտնված եմ եղել նրա ծառայություններից գիտեք ասում եմ եթե մեզ ուզում ես մարդուն տեսնես նա այն նույնպես նրա երեխաներին ես ճանաչում եմ նրա երեխաներին նրա տղաներին որ նա մեզ մեկը մեկից սուրբա մեկը մեկից լավնա ասում ես ուրեմն մեզ մարդը իրականում գիտի ինչի մասն է խոսում եւ այսպիսով մենք նրան շատ են հարգում սիրում ես ուզում ներկայացնեմ անզամբ է ուզում ներկայացնեմ նրան էլ ամստրոնգն այս որ այստեղ խնդրում եմ բարձացեք մեկ անգամ գրեք ամերիկայում ամստրոնգները շատ հայտնի են որովհետև կար լուի ամստրոնգ հետո միա տուրիշ ամստրոնգը որ տեզեր թրավ այսինքը կասմանավտներ դա եւ մեկ անգամ որ ասի մեզ մոտ ամստրոնգն է գալի մեկը զարմացած ասաց այն կասմանավտ ամստրոնգը եւ չգիտեմ ինչ կան տեզերա գնացա նա բայց ձեզ որ կհանի մինչև երկին ավելի բարձր կամ տեզերքը ես ուզում եմ կանչեմ այստեղ դել ամստրոնգին դել վելքամ Jesus. 
that nothing is lost of what you want to accomplish in this place. We are here for you, Lord. You're our God, our King. And I ask you, sir, to put into their lives much, much more than they can imagine. They are your people. They belong to you. Your children. Full of faith. Strong in the Lord. Full of power. Filled with the wisdom of God. Able to do everything you've called them to do. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now shout to the Lord one more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Arthur. What an honor to be here. What a blessing to, to have a friendship for 20 years. And the Spirit of God brought us together. And the Spirit of God has much more to do. You look so wonderful tonight. It's ex- ex- it is thrilling to see this building. Very soon it will be finished. And then, and then what are we going to do? We'll fill it up over and over and over. Amen. Amen. What the world thought was impossible. It's possible with God. Amen. Amen. It really does. It, it, it just thrills me to see what, you, what God is doing. <laughs> And I always know he wants to do more. It's hard for us to even understand that. Paul used a Greek word many times. He said that God is exceedingly great. And that word means he has to do more every time. You know, when we watch the Olympic sport games, we know what every athlete is trying to do. He's trying to break last year's records. He's trying to set a new level. Sometimes they do it. And it's just by a fraction. But God does it every time. He says he's an exceedingly great God. He has exceeding mercy. He has exceeding grace. Whatever God, whatever God has done in your life, He wants to do more. Have you ever been blessed of the Lord? He's an exceeding great God. He wants to do more in your life. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. You know, I'm so pleased to be here. Unfortunately, my wife and my children are not with me. 
My son Ethan lived here for, I believe, three months. And he made me promise to tell you, each of you, hello. <laughs> My wife also sends her greetings. And I have two other sons. And I have three beautiful granddaughters. Is anyone else a grandfather It's wonderful to be a grandfather. So I have to say hello to my granddaughters. Amen, you let me do that. Hallelujah. Let's go back to the Bible. All the church in America is watching also, so they want to say hello. And there's a group of Armenians in Washington, D.C. They want to say hello also. But that's enough. Let's get into the scripture. Amen. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 Yekrot Korontatsis said thanks be unto God who always causes us to triumph in Christ and he makes manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place One of the ways that God spreads the knowledge of himself is through your victory. Do you ever think about that? That's what this verse is saying. He always causes us to triumph in Christ. Don't ever forget it. God always wants you to win. God always wants you to have victory. Always. Amen. Amen. I've studied the Greek language. The word always is a very interesting Greek word. It means always. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Not sometimes. Not a few times. Always. I keep repeating that because it's difficult for people to understand. One of the greatest things you can do for yourself. You have to grab and hold on to a consciousness of victory. No, no matter what you face, no matter where you are, no matter what your problem, no matter how bad it is, he always causes you to triumph in Paul wrote this verse after he was in prison. They had stripped him of his clothes. They beat him. They put him in prison. They chained him to a wall. They shut and locked the door. But Paul had a victorious consciousness. And he praised the Lord in his problem. And the ground shook. The chains fell off. The doors were open. And the prisoner was set free. You have to begin to believe in victory in the darkest times of your life. Victory is possible. 
Hachtanaka Henaravore. Victory is for me. Hachtanaka in Samara. I'm a winner in Jesus Christ. Yes, Hachtorem Hisus Christosuma. You have to grab and hold on to this principle. Du petke. But I want you to understand something. I've been preaching the gospel long enough that I don't see everyone in victory. I've had problems of my own that I have faced. And so I begin to wonder and to ask questions. God's word says this, but my life says that. I read about victory. But Lord, look at the facts. That's when I learned another principle. There are a lot of facts in life. Many of them are not pleasant. But there's only one truth. And the truth always wins on top of the facts. No matter what your facts, sickness and disease a, a lack of finance a broken family depression and loneliness no, no matter what your fact the truth always wins and I want to teach you today three principles of victory and really these are secrets Jesus taught them and he said they are secrets now, I think I know why they're secrets. Number one, people aren't willing to do them. When you meet successful people, haven't you ever wondered why are they successful? Sometimes you look at them and you think, well, they're successful by accident. They're successful because they just fell into some opportunity. I used to think that until I fell into opportunity and I wasn't prepared. I, I've had many opportunities that I did not take advantage of. Also, I've met some of these people. And I realize that you only see the exterior of their life. But there's a lot of things that people do under the surface. You read, you read about Paul in prison. And we know he praised God. And the prison doors flew open. And so we think of only one thing for victory. And it is an important thing. Praise is an important thing. But it's not the only thing. Paul had more in his life that we don't know about. Deep things that God wants to do in us. And you can't do them even in church. You have to do them on your own. You have to put them into your heart and into your life. The greatest changes in your life will happen in the privacy of your time with God. Paul was a man of God. And there were many things in him that we 
we don't even know about. There really are secrets to victory. Let's look at a successful man in the Bible. A very, a very powerful man. Acts chapter 10. This man was not a Jew. He was a Roman. He was a soldier. He was an officer. He had great power. He had great wealth. He was a very educated man. But I want you to see why he was successful. And recognize that you can take these principles into your life. I didn't come here just to talk about God. God doesn't need help. God's doing okay. We want to talk about God and his principle so we can change. So we can walk in his wisdom. Well, this man was a powerful man. Let's read in verse 1. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band. And he was a devout man and one who feared God with all of his house and he gave much alms to the people and he prayed to God always. Now think with me for a minute about who this man must have been. He was an officer in the military. He had absolute power. Over thousands of, of souls. A centurion was a high status. I was reading in the in the Greek and Roman histories. Centurions, there were centurions who had more than 70,000 slaves. That's not his soldiers. 70,000 personal slaves. That's a powerful man. In the society at that time, he, he, he was a man of influence. Now think about this kind of man. He could do anything he wanted. He could get away with any kind of corruption. He could, he could do any type of perversion. No one would challenge him. No one would say anything to him. But even when he had all all this ability and freedom and power. What kind of a man was it? it says he was a devout man. He was a man who feared God. But it was also a man who gave much alms. And he prayed always. You see, sometimes we need to talk more about these things. A lot of times people want to talk about what they have or what they don't have. What's their dream or what's their vision? What about next year and my future? 
But I think these are some of the things we need to talk about. We need to treasure and respect the things that are truly important in life. Well, what happened at this story? He had a vision. He had a vision. I want you to see the process of a man's life. We hear about people having a vision. And, and we wonder, you know, what's God doing? What's God saying? But God had a man that he could speak to. I've been convinced in my life that there have been times God has wanted to speak to me. But I wasn't the man I needed to be. I wasn't where I needed to be in life to hear his voice. John 544 says if you're ready to do God's will then you'll know God's will many times we want to find out God's will as if then we're going to choose to do it. As if we get the power to decide. If that's true, then it's no longer God's will, it's my will. When we commit to do God's will, no matter what it is, and we bring our heart to the right place, then God can speak to us. I'll tell you a funny example. This happened to me when I was 19. And I've heard probably... I don't know, 20 people tell me the same exact story yes. happened in their life. I was a teenager and I wanted to find my wife. And every, every direction I went, I got into problems and trouble. Things just didn't work. I would love one woman and she wouldn't love me. I, I couldn't find where's my wife until I got on my knees. And I said, Lord, I don't care. I want what you want. If you don't ever want me to be married, if you want me to be single for the rest of my life, I want your will, I met my wife a week later. Yeah. I've heard that same story dozens of times. You see, it's your heart that keeps you from hearing from God, not your ears. And this man had everything. Think about it. He wasn't praying for money. He had money. He wasn't praying for power. He had power. He wasn't praying for these things in the natural realm. He had them all. He was praying before God because he had a respect for what is right. This man was greater than Solomon. 
I don't know if you've ever thought of that. You know, in the book of Deuteronomy, Moses warned the people. He said, you're going to have a king. But tell the king, don't multiply horses to yourself. And that horses were his military power. What did Solomon do? He multiplied horses. Moses said, you tell your king, don't multiply wives. Because they'll bring their false gods into Israel. They'll take your heart away from me. What did Solomon do? He multiplied wives. Moses said, tell your king. Don't multiply gold to yourself. What did Solomon do? He became the richest man in the world. You see, this man, this soldier, he had a greater heart than Solomon. Now, I'm going to tell you something I don't ever want you to forget. Solomon was the wisest man in the world. But never confuse wisdom with holiness. Do you see the difference? Never confuse holiness with wisdom. This, this, this man, Cornelius, was a great man. But even in his greatness, he knew there was something more. He was still hungry for more of God. He had everything he could want in the natural. But yet here he was every day praying. Giving on. Fearing God. And then he had a vision. You see, he knew he needed something, but he didn't know what it was. And so an angel was sent from heaven to tell him. You need to go and get in contact with Peter. God gave him instructions in life. God gave him specific instructions. He told him the man's name. You need Peter. He told him what city he was in. He even told him what street. Now, don't, don't, don't get angry at me. The Bible says you have to love me. But why did God give specific instruction to Cornelius? Because his heart was right. And if God hasn't given you specific instructions, hasn't? Hasn't. If he hasn't, you need to get your heart right. Amen. Amen. You heard me. Yeah. Ayo. If you don't have the specific instructions, we need to look at our heart. Go, go down to verse. Go down to verse thirty. Now Cornelius obeys what the angel said. And Peter came to him. And Peter said, I'm here, what do you, what do you want? Now think again about how great this man is. He, he's like a great general. 
But even with greater power. He literally was like a God among men. He could kill without question. He, he had thousands of slaves. And here comes Peter. A Jewish fisherman. And this great military leader submits to him. It's amazing. It's amazing to see that this man had that much respect of God. I'm, I'm ashamed at how we've lost respect of God. I told you I'd talk about some secrets. This, this is one of Cornelius' secrets. I remember when I was a teenager and I came to meetings like this. I would sit on the edge of my seat. I would sit on the edge of my seat. I would watch the Spirit of God ministering to people. And there'd be people behind me talking about what, what restaurant are they going to go to. No respect of God. I was shocked. I went to Rama Bible Training Center. That time they had about 2,000 students. You pay money to be there, you know. And Kenneth Hagen would be teaching. And you know, some of the students would fall asleep. I couldn't believe. No, no fear of God in their life. And I, I, was, I was critical. But you know, I was a Bible student. I didn't have any money. So I got another job. I was going to Bible school and then working until 2 in the morning. You know, I get four hours of sleep and then go back to Bible school. Guess what happened? One day, Brother Hagen is preaching. And I fell asleep. I was so ashamed. And I, and I realized, Lord, what's wrong with me? I don't want to. I don't want to be like them. It really broke my heart. So I made a personal promise to God. Whenever Brother Hagen would preach, I would sit on the, the very edge of my seat. That way, if I fall asleep, I'll fall on the floor. I never fell asleep again. Amen. Amen. 20 years later, my wife and I went to hear Kenneth Hagin. And when he walked behind the pulpit, I slid right out on the edge of my seat. My my wife looked at me. She said, what are you doing? I said, never mind, woman. <laughs> That's between me and God. Amen. I'm being very, very serious. Here. You slept or you sit? No, no, I sat on the edge of my seat. You see, there are secrets to men and women of God who want his heart. And it's between you and God. It's your relationship with him. Cornelius was that kind of man. He sent for Peter. And he submitted himself because of God to a fisherman. 
Pačarov hna zand vets zeknor sin. And so Cornelius said, verse 30. Ev yeresun khos ka Cornelius asets. Four days ago I was fasting until this hour. Chor sorits araj min cheva jama tsomei pahum. And at the ninth hour I prayed in my house. And behold, a man stood before me in bright clothing. And he said, Cornelius, your prayer is heard. And your alms are had in remembrance in the sight of God. I want you to notice three things in this. There are secrets to success in victory. And I want to give you three of the greatest secrets I know. Notice what Cornelius said. He said, I was fasting. Say fasting. It's an important principle of success. I would say there are some things in your life you will never see successful until you learn to fast. Amen. Amen. I know I began fasting when I was a Bible school student. Not because I was spiritual, but because I had no food. <laughs> Bible school students know what I'm talking about. But when you need to fast, is when you have the food. Think, think about Cornelius. This powerful rich man. He could eat anything he wants. He could have anything he wants. But he chose the pleasures of God. And he fasted. Amen. Amen. What else do we learn in these verses? He said, your prayers are heard. Verse 2 says he was a man who prayed all the time. Let me give you the secret secret of success. You have to find and develop your own personal prayer life. I'm not talking about prayer meetings. I'm not talking about praying in the cell group. I'm not talking about praying over the needs in front of the church. I'm talking about you at three in the morning when you wake up and get a drink of water and spend an hour praying with the Lord. And nobody knows. It's a secret. Your prayer life. And then the third thing the angel told me. He said, your, your giving has become a memorial before God. Think about that. God took notice. God saw his giving. Three secrets. Let me go over them again so you don't forget. Giving. Praying. 
fasting. Zompahela. All three you see in his life. Այս երեք բանն էլ դու տեսնում ես նրա կյանքումը։ Now let's go back to Matthew. Գնանք Մաթեոս։ Let me show them to you again. Թույլ տուր այս բաները քեզ այնտեղ ցույց տամ նորից։ And I want you to realize they really are secret. Եվ ես իրականում ուզում եմ որ դու հասկանաս սրանք են այդ գաղտիկները։ Jesus told you to keep them secret. Հիսուս նասես որ դա ծածուկ ձևով անես։ Look in Matthew chapter 6 verse He said, "Take heed that you do not your alms before men to be seen of them; otherwise, you have no reward of your Father who's in heaven." Zgush katsa kisus ne asum aistek. Vor zer vogor mutsuna martkan tsarachin chanek nerantis tesnavelu hamar yete voch varsk chunik zer horitsa vor yerkan kumne. Keep it secret. Aistek asum e. դուք դա չարեք մարդկանցից տեսնվելու համար այսինքն գաղտնի արեք When you do your alms don't sound a trumpet as the hypocrites in the synagogues and the streets that they may have the glory of men verily I say unto you they have their reward Արդ երբ որ ողորմություն անես փողմի հնչեսնիր քո առաջին ինչպես կեղծավորներն են անում ժողովարանների մեջ եւ փողոցների մեջ որ փառավորվեն մարդկանցից But when you do your alms, don't let your left hand know what your right hand does. Ճշմարի տասում եմ նրանք իրանց վարսն առածեն, բայց դու երբ որ ողորմություն անես, թող չիմանա կո ձախ ձերքը ինչ է գործում կո աճը։ Now don't fall asleep. Listen to what I'm saying. Մի քնիշ, լսիր ինչ եմ ես իմ ասում։ This is a powerful secret of victory. Սա շատ զորավոր գախնիք է, ոնց հաղթանակ ունենաս։ He said that your alms may be in secret and your father who sees in secret himself will reward you openly. Նա ասում է, որպիսի քո ողորմությունը ծածուկ լինի եւ քո հայրն, որը ծածուկ տեղը տեսնում է, հայտնապես կհատուցան է քես։ Now that's why Cornelius had a vision. Սայ պատճառը ինչ ու Կորնելոսի մոտ տեսիլք հայտնվեց։ It's what the angel said. Սայն է ինչ հրեշտակն ասես։ God is seeing your giving, Cornelius. Ասես սավ քո տալը Կորնելոս։ Now listen to me. Լսիր ինձ հիմա։ Because then people will say to me, Մարդիկ ինձ կասեն։ Can I buy a vision? Կարող եմ ես տեսիլք գնել։ No. Oh. Your heart's not right with God. Kot sirta chish che yete aitpes es matatsum asso het. You don't use money to buy God. Menk phoge chenk oktagotsum assun gnelu hamar. But when you keep your giving in secret, but yet for du kot talak tsatsuk anum es. It changes your heart. Da phoghum e kho sirta. It changes who you are. Da phoghum e kes Always do. Jesus said Jesus in the same chapter. No in Galchi Mecheda. He says where your treasure is that's where your heart will be. Now says vortex zer gan zer kalnen aintex zer sir takalini. Your money can control where your heart goes. Ka phoge karoge voroshel vortex ko sir takalini. If you're having a problem with alcohol, yet edu khmishki et kapvats khntir unes. Go to the orphanage and give them all your money. Gedes ich gna vor panots ye vorch pogheret tur nerans. Now you can't buy alcohol. El aleves ches karo khmish gnel. Get down in the dirt with those poor children. Ich ich tsanki ait akhkad yerekhanerin oknish. Give them your money. Tur pogheret ait gortsi. It will change the direction of your heart. Dak pogi kosarti ugutsuna. God sees all that you do. Աստված տեսնում է այն ամենը ինչ դու անում ես. But he watches what you do in secret. Բայց նա հատուկ ձևով հետևում է այն ամենին ինչ ծածուկում ես անում։ Ամեն։ Ամեն։ Now I have found in my experience. Գիտես ես իմ փորձառությունից ելնելով տեսել եմ։ That God wants to reward you openly. Որ աստված կամենում է Ձես հայտնապես հատուցանել։ This word openly is a very interesting word. Գիտես այս word։ Բառը հայտնապես, շատ հետաքրքիր հուներ են բառը։ When they open the curtains of a great theater, Եվ որ թատրոնի մեծ, թատրոնի 
That's, that's the word. There's something hidden behind the curtain. I love, I love to go to the opera. You know, I've taken my wife to the Bolshoi. There's a, there's a beautiful opera in Odessa. I love that moment when you go in and you find your seat. And then, then the lights go down a little bit. People begin to get quiet. You hear something behind the curtain. You don't know what it is yet. But then there's that moment. And the curtain opens. That's this Greek word. And God wants that in your life. What's behind that curtain? For, for Cornelius it was salvation it was the filling of the Holy Ghost Amen. Amen what's behind that curtain it's the future of your life Amen, Amen. Bible students ask me often How did you become a missionary? How did God take you to the Philippines? How did God take you to Russia? And I usually give them simple answers. Superficial answers. But tonight, if you'll let me, I want to share a little more of my heart. Only for one reason. Not to talk about me. But for you to learn about you. Because I want the curtain to open in your life. Amen. Amen. In 1987, I think I was 23. And I took my assistant and we went and prayed and fasted. Are you listening to me? We prayed and fasted for three days about the future of our ministry. I I didn't know what to do. I was just a kid. Nobody wanted to hear me preach. I, I didn't have anything special to say. But I'd prayed and fasted for three days. And still I had not any, no specific answer. My, my assistant and I were driving up the highway. We had two hours to go. He was driving. I was praying in tongues. I love to pray in tongues. Amen. Amen. Pray all the time in the other tongues. And all of a sudden the Lord spoke to me. I was so shocked. Yes, shock I thought it was out loud. Yes, I, I thought it was audible. Yes, I thought my assistant heard it. God said, get off at the next road and look for a church. I was shocked. And so when we came up on the road, he wasn't going to turn. That's when I realized he didn't hear it. So I said, Bob! I said, take fish. Turn, turn here. Take fish, take fish. So real quick he turned. He's like, what, what, what? I said, I said God said, get off here. Look for a church. Take wing, 
So we drove to a, a red light. And, and the Lord would say, turn right. We turned to another one and the Lord would say, turn left. And we drove right into the parking lot of this big church. And, and it was the middle of the week. There was nobody there. So we drove around this big parking lot. And, and Bob was going to go away. I said, what are you doing? I said, we got to go inside. The Lord said, find a church. So I walked into this big building. It's bigger than this one. And there were no, the doors weren't locked. There were no lights on. I just walked right in. I'm standing in the dark. And all of a sudden I heard a voice. Hey, hey, what are you doing? I said, hey, we're just here. He said, oh, you're with the group. They went across the street. They went to the Marriott Hotel. If you hurry, you'll catch them. I said, okay. It was in the dark. So I went outside and across the street. And I walked into the hotel. Big hotel. And a very fancy, very rich hotel. Now I was not dressed like this. I was dressed with shorts. <laughs> Tennis shoes. Tennis and I had a t-shirt. I, I, I did not look like a preacher. <laughs> I did not look like a preacher. I'm standing in the middle of this beautiful hotel. I don't know why I'm here. And a man dressed in a very nice suit. Expensive shoes. Big smile. He walks up to me and grabs my hand. Praise the Lord, brother. I see you're here for the same reason I am. Yes, Yes. I didn't know where I was. I didn't know who he was. And I didn't know why we were here. And then the Lord spoke to me. And the Lord said, Give him all the money in your pocket. A stranger. And there's one other problem. Usually I don't have anything in my pocket. Usually. But that day. But I order. Oh. I had all of it in my pocket. Yes, in Bolora in Gripanumune. But I gave it to him. Yes, the way it's done, Iran. A total stranger. I thought I'd go in. I said, "See." A missionary from the Philippines. Pars ves da missioneres Filipineris. He invited me to the Philippines. Dera ince to na ince ravides Filipineris. My first mission trip. Im arrachi missionera kan chano pa. And we went into the Philippine jungles. E for meng matang jungle neri mech Filipineris. And we preached to a tribe that had never had. Dera ince karozelu mi tehi vor avetaran yer pechelas. They were still shooting the poison darts. Vor vor iran vor sa anu men thuna vor ait netera. About 70 people. All of them naked. Have you ever preached to 70 naked people? <laughs> and they all were born again. The whole village was saved. Now, now listen to me. How did I get to the Philippines? Praying, fasting, and giving. 
How did I get to Russia? I, I want you to listen to this. I'm not here to talk about me. I want to change your life. I was pastoring in a little city in Pennsylvania. Bagrat and Arthur have been there. Tiny place. It's about 5,000 And serving the Lord. And one day the telephone rang. It was a minister. A missionary. And you know what that means as a pastor. He wants money. So he asked me to go to lunch with him. So we go to lunch. My wife and him with his wife. Yes. He was a nice guy. It was a pleasant conversation. And he, he was, you know, not nothing uh, out of the ordinary. I really felt sorry for him. I pitied him. Because he was a missionary to a very strange place. A place God would never send me. A place called Russia. I'm an American. It's the enemy. Why would you want to go there? So all I wanted to do was for him to go away. We went home. He went wherever he went. He told me he was staying at some hotel. He told me he was leaving in the morning for a, a further city. In the I didn't even have his phone number. I didn't have his address. Why? Because I didn't care. I was not interested. And, and I never gave him another thought. I went to bed that night. And I'm sleeping. And about three in the morning. I sat up in bed. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, Give that missionary seven hundred dollars. I was so shocked. I didn't like that missionary. But that missionary in Duras Chekov. You see, many times God will tell you to do something. Get this. Shad Jamana Kastvas Keskasi Banel Anel. It's not about the money. It's about your heart. It's about your heart. So in the morning I got my wife up. I said we got to obey God. We went to the hotel. I had the money in an envelope. I knocked on the door. I thought, oh, I hope he hasn't left. I don't know how to find him. The door opened, thank God he hadn't left. He just opened it like one inch. His wife was still in bed. And he's not dressed. You know? He's just looking through the door. I said, brother, I'm sorry. I, 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 last night the Lord told me to give you this. He, he said, I said, the Lord told me to give you this $700. I held it up to the door. And, and he went. <laughs> that door opened wide open. And he screamed at his wife. She jumped out of bed and started jumping up and down on the bed. In her clothes. You know? 
Here's the part of the story I didn't know. Ես չգիտեի պատմության մյուս կողմը։ The only reason he called me. Միակ պատճառը ինչ ունա այն զանգել էր։ They were driving through the city and their car broke down. Դա նա էր, որ նրանք այդ քաղաքի միջով էին անցնելու, մեքենան փչացել էր։ They never even heard of me. Եվ նրանք իմ մասին չէին էլ լսել։ So they called some friend in California. Զանգել էին Կալիֆորնիա իրանց ընկերներից մեկին։ And that guy said, "Oh, Dale Armstrong lived here." Եվ ասել էր լսի, այդ տեղ Dale Armstrong անունով մի ծառ հովիվ է ապրում։ But he was a man of faith. Բայց նա հավատքի մարդ էր։ He wasn't holding out his hand. Գիտես ինչ նա ողորմություն խնդրող մարդ էր։ Նա His car was broken down. Իրա մեքենան այնտեղ փչացել էր։ The mechanic said it would take $700 to fix it. Եվ այդ մեքենայի, ով որ որ վերանորոգում են, ասել էր 700 դոլարով սարքենք։ Ես նա ընդհանրապես փող չունեցա։ So now I wanted to dance. Եվ հիմա ես սկսեցի պարել։ Cuz he heard from God. Որը վերա նա լսել էր աստծուց, ես էլ էի լսել աստծում։ Now listen to me. Հիմա լսի ինձ։ One year later. Make that yawns. There I am. Aha yes, standing in Minsk, Belarus. There I need to go. Gangnats, Belarus, I miss Karakum. Preaching to 800 pastors. Karozum em 800 hovivneri. How do I get there? Ispes matay es aintekh. You see there's secrets. Las is gang gachtniknes. Peter came because Cornelius was a man who gave money. Պետրոսը եկավ նրա մոտ, որովհետև Կորնելոսը մարդ էր, որը որ փող էր տվել։ Բայց լսիր, դրանով, անելով, դու աստծուն փողով չես կարող առնել։ It was because of his heart. Դա նրա սրտի պատճառով էր, որ նա տալիս էր։ Every time you give it changes your heart. Անգամ դու երբ որ տալիս ես, քո սիրտը փոխվում է։ Oh, I need I need five more minutes. Oh, yes, in hin grope petke. Who would give me of five? The times, Hingrope. Oh, thank you. Avel, Shachnara Kalem. This is more important, or I just let you go. Let's see. Sir, Avel, you are very dramatic. I'm talking about Gnas. Have you read Matthew six? Artat selis Matthews vetserot gulufa. What does he say? Inche asvum master. He says in verse six. Vetserot chos kumas. But you, when you pray, enter into your closet, and when you shut your door, pray to your Father who's in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. By the way, in four ahot kan es matish kos enyaka. Yev durat pakat ahot kara depi kohaira. Vorat sa. ծուկում նա եւ քո հայրը որը ծածուկ տեղը տեսնում է հայտնապես կհատուցիք ես See it's a secret thing. Let's see that Satsuk bane. He's not talking about church prayer. He is not chi khosum aistegh yekeretsakan aghotki masi. He's not talking about the church praying all night. Aistegh chi khosum yekeretsakan gisherain aghotki. He's not talking about the prayer request. Aistegh chi khosum yekeretsum karikneri aghotki. He's talking about your heart. Aistegh khosum e khosrti masi. Your prayer life. Ko aghotki kanki masi. Your secret prayer life. Kotsatsuk aghotki kanki masi. That's what God sees. Aha istegh da hens ekanerik da hens astvats tesnum. And that's what God rewards. Yev aha hens da astvats vartsahatuts But there's one more. Yev es mek ban. Look over here in verse 16. Ait astvets khoskum. He said when you fast. Asum ay fortsom es pahum. When you fast. Yer fortsom es pahum. Look at verse 18. Das nut khoska. Don't appear under men to fast, but Man. under your father who's in secret, and your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Ais der nu pes asum e martkan so pahogh cherevas al kohora vore tsatsukum ne yev kohaire vor tsatsuk tege tesnum e հայտնապես կհատուցան եք ես So we have these three secrets. Այնպես որ մենք տեսնում ենք այս երեք հարցերում ծածուկ բառը. Jesus taught them as secrets. Հիսուս ասում է դա ծածուկում արվող բաներ են. Giving, տալեմ, praying, աղոթելը, fasting, ծոնպահելը. Isn't it interesting that Cornelius did all these three? Դա չէ, Կորնելոսը իր կյանքում այս երեք բաները կիրառում էր. Now I want you to understand something. If you begin to practice these spiritual secrets, I don't care who you are. 
I don't care how bad your life. I don't care how great your problems. When you give, for success, when you pray, when you fast, it changes your heart. That puts you in a position of victory. That makes you into a man of a woman of God. I've seen it. One more short, short story. 2001, I was living in uh, Moscow. Maybe it was 2002. And a friend of mine, Oleg Popov, called me. And he said, hey, Dale, uh, let's go for sushi. I said, amen. So uh, he, he's, he's coming and bringing a friend. Oh, you know him, another friend of mine, Sergei Zuev. Sergei Zuev. Amen. I love Brother Zuev. Yes, sir. So I'm waiting for them, and, a, and a, there's a knock on the door. Here they are. And I open the door, and there's a leg, big, big, big grizzly bear. You know? And there's Sergey, little guy like me. He's the man with You know. And that's why I love Bagrat. He, he makes me look bigger. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Sergey has a telephone on his ear. And he's crying. Tears coming down his face. And he says, Dale. Dale. My church is burning. It's burning to the ground right now. I was, yes, I didn't know what to do for two seconds. Then I remembered truth is bigger than fat. So I said, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! You're going to get a new building! Amen. 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 So he came in. He wasn't as excited as I am. Now it comes vocation schwacher on sorry yes. He you know he's talking to someone who's just watching it burn. Khosumesh inka rakhosov Iran sits making vor kangnatsev testuma vonsa shenka varvum. And it did it burned to the ground. Yeah but shenki irakanum kravo varvets. So many things were lost. Ve vershat ban kortsa. And he's crying. Evna latsev linum. And I'm standing there quietly. Oleg is standing there quietly. Finally, he hangs up the phone. I said, praise God. I said, I see opportunity. I went into my room. And I got all my money together. I came out and said, I want to be the first one. one. For the offering for your building. And I gave him a good offering. Then I said, let's praise the Lord. And I said, praise the Lord. And Sergei said, Sergei now said, Praise the Lord. <laughs> it's not easy when you're in it. But you got to turn your <laughs> own heart. So we took him to sushi. And he was still depressed. Oh, come on, it's good sushi. But his building is burning. I said, Oleg, tell him a joke. Come on, give me a joke. Me but there wasn't much laughing. I'm, I'm, I'm telling it quickly. This is a great miracle. 
The next day we were in a conference. A jortoro konferanse yenk menk. A lot of ministers. Shat tarayovner ein havakvel. Had several thousand. Mikhani hazash. Ulfekman was preaching. Ulfekman a karozumesh. He came to the end of his sermon. Ava kuti verchum hankars kangnets. Is the pastor here whose church burned down? I said, I told you um shenke yerek herde pacharo varvets. I stare. It's right here. So I said, we're all going to take an offering for that church. Wolf said, man, I said, bolor simazo aberitsunen kavakelu vor irank nor shenku. You gotta change the heart. I'm talking about your heart now. I'm talking about your heart. God wants to take your heart and put it in a position to receive victory. Stand up on your feet. Did you learn anything tonight? Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we present our hearts to you. We belong to you. We want your will in our life. Now, if you're here tonight and you've never made Jesus the Lord of your life, I want to pray with you. Going to church doesn't make you a Christian. The Apostle Paul said if you can Confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. And believe in your heart that God's raised him from the dead. Then you will be saved. If you've never received Jesus as the Lord of your life, I would be honored to pray with you tonight. And would you come forward now? Come out of your seat. Come down here where I could pray with you. I want to welcome you into the kingdom of God. Let's praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Is there any more coming? Come on, Christians, help them come. Turn to your neighbor and ask him if they should be down here. Take him by the hand and help him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Never the same, never the same. I always have time for new believers. Are there a few more? Yeah, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, church, let's praise the Lord a little more. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, you're the reason I came to Armenia. This is the greatest thing. Jesus gave his life. He shed his blood. That we would be forgiven of our sins. Cleansed from our past. Given a new heart and a new spirit. Now heaven's our home. Everyone here is family. When we make Jesus the Lord of our lives. Now I want to pray this prayer with you. It's right from the pages of the Bible. And when we're done, on the authority of God's word, you're forgiven, you're free, you're born again. Let's pray together. And I want you to pray out loud with your mouth. You're not praying to me, you pray to God. Let's all the church pray together. 
եւ դալիչ խնդրում եմ դուք էլ կրկնեք ինձ հետ միասին այս ամուսնությունը քանի ոք են հիշում երբ իրանք քրկվեցին ձեր բարձացրեք մեծ օրեր չէ was it a great day հզոր օրեր չէ այդ օրը ամեն ամեն well let's pray եւ եք աղոթեն heavenly father կրկնեք ինձ հետ միասին երկնային հայր I come to you in the name of Jesus. Yes, Galisem ko archev Isusi Anunova. I know you sent him for me. Yes, gitan vor du neran ints hamar ugharketsich. He died on the cross for me. Na khachi vora merav ints hamar. His blood was shed for my sin. Na rajuna tapvets im mekheri hamar. But you father raised him from the dead. Բայց դու հայ նրան մերելներից հարություն տվեցիր։ And I know Jesus is alive. Եվ ես գիտեմ որ Հիսուսը կենթանի է։ And tonight father, Եվ այս երեկո հայ I declare Jesus Ես հրճակում եմ Հիսուսն է տեր իմ կյանքից։ Tonight father Այս երեկո իմ հայ I am born again. Yes, where is the sin that I'm? In Jesus name. Jesus say on and over. Amen. Ah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Part the roche. You want to instruct them? Yeah. That's it. Just to them. Gish konenk menk uzum ek ovker arachi ankam en yekel khatsum en tvek ais pokhr gish ka ովքեր առաջի անգամ են եկի ամեն շափատ երեկո մենք ձեզ այստեղ սպասում ենք ով որ բերել է ձեզ իր ամիջոցով իմացեք նույնպես տնային խմբակների մասին եւ միշտ միշտ մենք ձեզ մեծ սրտով սպասում ենք այստեղ եթե չգաք ձեր տեղը դատարկ է լինի դուք ասես ինչ ամար չեք թողի նստի չէ չէ հոգու մեջ աստծո մոտ դատարկ է լինի դրա համար եկեք աստծո մոտ ամեն անգամ մենք շատ ուրախ կլինենք որ դուք միշտ այստեղ լինեք եւ աղոթենք իրանց համար we will pray for them always we pray you can lead it or Lay hands on him or praise oh, the group. No, we. Yeah, Dalijo, I will thank him. Ah, we always pray for them before they take the seat. Amen. Ago thank this hamar hima. Du kang ne ka iste. Hans ne ka astot zer keri me. Chevan te fksha ona keng bir hava kuti yevs mi kani rope. Mek nish dalij zer kata is thanka gin mar kan stan kasun. Hai khori ish nora kalen. Amen me ki hamar ovar asor. Eka vir kyan kata vets. Men kors ne lovers nu men neras. Amen satanai gors asum men kan dvas vini neras kyan kum. Lini kapvatsun. Lini mech. Lini anets. Lini tohtogej. Lini hivan dusun. Toh kan dvas vini. Եվ ասորտնությունը լինի։ Ամեն նրանց ընտանիքների վրա, գործի վրա, տան վրա, բահիր ու պաշտպանիչ նրանց։ Ամեն սխալից, քոմիացին որդի Հիսուսի անունով։ Ու բոլորս ասեցին ամեն։ Ամեն։ Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I want to say goodbye. Շատ բարի։ Ես ուզում եմ ձեզ ասեմ շնորհակալություն։ I love you very much. Եվ հաջողություն ասեմ ձեզ ձեզ շատ սիրում եմ։ I sure will return. Դուք անցեք ձեզ տեղերի։ Իհարկե ես նորից էլի կգամ այստեղ։ I won't apologize for keeping you a long time. Ես ես ներողություն եմ խնդրում որ մի քիչ երկար եմ պահել այսօր։ But if you take what you heard in the Bites, I said it going for the sake. Եթե դա իրարեք ձեր կյանքում, ձեր կյանքը I love us նույնը չի լինի։ Ամեն։ 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 Եվ բարձր ցապար են գեղբորը եւ իրականում մեր տերասին։ Գիտեք, չկա ավելի մեծ բան, երբ որ մեր աղոթքները հասնում են ասում։ Ես գիտեմ մարդիկ իշքան են պատրաստ, իշքան են պատրաստ վճարել, տալ, որպիսի իրանց բողոքը լսի նախագա։ Կա մարդ որ ասում է, ես քանի նամակ եմ ուղարկել նախագային, ես չի գիտեմ հասել աթե չէ։ Ես չեմ իշխան մարդ պատրաստ է նամակներ ուղարկի ծանոթ գտնի որ ինչ որ մի մեծահարուստ իր նամակը կարթա եւ իր կարիքը լսի բայց դա ոչ մի բան է որ ամեն մեկ աշխարում ինչ կրոնի մեջ են նա լինի որ ցանկանա որ իր աղօթքը տերը լսած լինի եւ ինքը հաստատ իմանա որ տերը լսեց իր աղօթքը եւ եթե տերը լսեց ուրեմն հաստատ կպատասխանվի գիտեք իրականում այսօր հրաշալի ծառայություն էր եւ Դելի վրա կա հատուկոցություն գիտեք ինչ ուսմունքի միջոցով ուսմունքի միջոցով հավատքը դնում է մարդկանց սրտերի մեջ 
Cornelosi Chiancă s-a izurcit, vor Cornelosi m-a singurvat, s-a izmic Harusune, vor că și-mi araci hetanosă. Gede că e vor scartați, araci hetanosi până la ghilă, e smătați, ai zic araci hetanosă, vor precăvelea, vor echila tiroce. Mătați, ți-i tare, asta v-ați bolul Cristian ca nașcare, e hetanosi până la voluțiune unui naș. Gede că ne-am asinit și-a gărvat, că e să-i am mimart că ranune Cornelios sau rapet italați, că ce v-ați gândit să. Pare Paști, astfel să vă îl bolorte nova. Dar mi-ți e Cristo singur, pentru că asta nu. Și ați văzut vor mulți unele anum joacă vor tine, iar amen jumătate a gât care anum de pe astfel. Na oriva, îpr în iar jumătate te silki mai ești haiți nici să vă spun, reștă că reștă că vor motiv, motiv nălov nera mot asumet nera Cornelosin. Nael nera Naelov șat va xov brnaveța vivașez. În ce te e vna asez nera. Co a gât că e vco vor mulți unele verielan aso araj. Menk că jumătate dar menk xosan că este banerii masin. Direct, ești ieri cu banii, mi banii la pet, avea la snel, ori mă te voi simți grivat sa zoma pa oțiune. Asma co a rot că e co vor muțiune, barța sa de pitere. Și atâta încă meng, mă dați un meng, mi-ai a rot că masin, vei să asma co a rot că e co vor muțiune, barța sa de pitere. Reașali vânca uțiune, rirea ca num. Vom să te rebațez, mă dați un mes. Mart vor misia ea dursă că el țară oițiun nere anum, asta v-ați apahovuma, băiți vă înțe că sfeți, păi și zapes mei cor, lăseți tiroci zaină. Ies mi-o rină că mă zumt zez berem în stăvuma, că ești amar heta cărchir că linim. Gidec, ies, mei că am conferanță unei miațial ne-am gândit, mai simt că era virvață, e vă da șat mes conferanță, îl vor tăi havac față în amena meți hoviv nere, carozi și nere, amen mei că. Եվ եվ որ ես գնացի միացալ նանգներ, իմ ճամպրուկը չեք կավ։ Գիտեք կբայց ես միշտ, որ ճանապարդում եմ, տաս երկու տաս երեկ ժամ պետք ատրեմ, սպորտային կոստյումով եմ, թրնում, որպես ինձ հեշտ լինի նստել, հեշտ Amena America este un challenge, vad, met, sens lav, hovivner ne înestom. Bolor egal sen gheretic costum nerov, po gheretic hack ne vad. Ief ief for scrie sporta ei nove ca inter, a inter ai carcu ca unii așa tognere. Înt ce în togom ner smatnen. Vai tii mura neșan car vor înspet ca togen. Naimen neșanin, naimen înt. Heto versetii înteștend. Hoi este cem tapelet neșană. Ինքը տեսան դրա ճիշտը եւ տարանակ հայացքով նայեց ինձ թե ինչի է ես այդ հակուստով այդ տեղ եկած եւ գիտեք ինչ չնայած միացել նանքներ այնպիսի տեղա որ երբեք հակուստին չեն ամ բայց այդտեղ լավ էլ նայում էին այդտեղ լավ էլ նայում են եւ այսպես ես մտածեցի մի առաջի օրը պրծա այդ բանից երկրորդ օրը եկավ ես ասել հիմա վեշերս կբերեն գիտեք եւ կոնֆերանսն էլ միատ ամայի տեղ էր ոչ խանութ կա պատկես ու իմ գրպանու գումար կար ես գնայ մի շոր առնե որպես ի մտնե այդ է ոչ խանութ կա Ոչ մի բան չկար իրականում, ոչ մի բան չկար այդտեղ, որպիսի ինձ մեկը օգնի, որ գնամ այդտեղ շոր առնեմ, որովհետև ոչ մի բան չկա, եւ երկրորդ օրը նույնպես գնացի այդպես։ Երրորդ օրը դու պատկերացնեք դա ինչա կատարում, մտածում ես, աղոն տերաստված մի հոգի այդ դալիճում ասում կա ամերիկացիներ, մոտարապես 8000 մարդ են ստած։ Մի հոգի թող սրտում ստանա եւ բոլորը քարոզիչներ էին։ Մի հոգի սրտումը ստանա, որովհետև ինձ օգնի որ ես գնամ եւ շոր գնեմ պարզապես ինձ մեքենայով տանի գիտեք ինչ եթե 8000 հոգուց մեկը գտնվեր դելիպես որ լսեր տիրոց ձայնը երևի այսօր հայաստանում կքարոզեր գիտեք մենք ապրում ենք մի կյանքով որ իրականում չպիտի օրտնությունը բաց թողենք օրտնությունը չպիտի բաց թողենք եւ պարզապես ինձ գիտեք ով օգնեց մի կին որը ոչ քարոզի չէր փարկած ոչ քնոշ ոչ մի բան կարգ ու կանոնը մեջ փայանած ասի լսի այստեղ խանութ կասես ես քես կտանեմ եւ նա գիտեք ինչ նա անտարապես այդ այդ ոնց ասաց այդ օպերայից չեր նա հյուրանոցի աշխատողներ Եվ նա ինձ օգնեց շորը, բայց գիտեք ինչ սրցավալեն, հենց շորը գնեցի եկա տեսա ճամփրուկներս հյուրանոցում դրված էր։ Եղավ սիրելներս, իրականում բաց մի թողիկ այն ժամանակը, որի մեջ տերը ձեզ կանչելա։ Կորնելոսը այսօրվա վկայությունն է իրականում, մի քանի պատմություն, որը նա բաց չթողեց ժամանակը, բաց չթողեք ձեր օրտությունը։ 
Amen. Եկեք քայր մեր աղոթքը ասենք եւ ամեն մեկը գնա ձեր տները բոլորին զանգի վաղ ուղարկի եկեղեցի եւ որովհետեւ ասա իրական հրաշալի խոսքը լսես որ քո կյանքը մի բանով կփոխվի հաջորդ կիրակի շապատ կիրակի մենք ծառայություն կունենանք ես եմ չծառայում ա ես միջև երկու շապտի չեմ գալի գրաֆիկը չեմ նայում եւ վաղ ես գյումրիում եմ մելներ գյումրիում եմ ծառայելու այնտեղ այնպես որ բարեկամների տուղարկի եթե այնտեղ կա գյումրիում դել այստեղ շարնակելու է ծառայություն անի դու գյումրից ես եկե տերորտնիք ես մենք այստեղ գյումրեցիներ շատ ունենք փարկասու այնտեղ վաղը արի կլսես գուրիկ ջան լավ հայր մեր աղոթք ասենք եւ հետո կփարբանենք տիրոջը եւ աստված օրտնի ձեր ամեն մեկի ճանապարհը հայր մեր որ երկնքում ես քոանը սուրբ լինի քո արկայությունը գա քո կամ կլինի ինչպես երկնքում այնպես երկրի վրա մեր ամենօրը հացտուր մեզ այսօր եւ մեզ ների մեր պարտկերը ինչպես մենք ենք ներում մեր պարտապաններին ու մեզ փորձության մի տանի ապա չարից ազատի քանի որ քոնն է թակավորությունը զորությունը եւ փարկը հավիճանս ամեն տերորտի ձեզ բարձր ցապարենք տիրոջը եւ փարաբանենք ասուն Jesus. 